I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on histograms. Here is another example where we'll have unequal widths and also the data doesn't start with zero. And we learn how to graph this kind of histogram or how to plot this kind of histogram. The question is to draw histogram to represent data for 70 students. The marks given to us are between the interval 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60, 70, 70 to 80, and 80 to 100. So the marks are the frequency, which is 12, 16, 14, 20, and 8. To plot the histogram, first step should be to find frequency density, right? So frequency density is the frequency divided by interval. So in this case, it will be 12 divided by the interval, which is of 20, right? Here it is 16 divided by this interval, which is also 20. In this case, it is 14 over 10. And here it is 20 over 10. 80 to 100 is interval of 20. And we'll divide the number 8. So when you divide, what do you get? So dividing by 2, 6 and 1 decimal, 0 0.6. Here we get decimal 0 0.8. In this case, 1.4. Here we get 2. Here we get uh, 0 0.8 divided by 4 is 0 0.4. Correct. So that becomes our frequency density. So this is a very important column. As you know, histograms could be bar graphs with no space in between and with different widths right and the area is what we are looking into so in any histogram what we have on the vertical axis is basically frequency density right and here we have the intervals so so we'll plot frequency density here So we have up to 2, so I'll kind of make a graph here. So let's say this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So we'll give it each point 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that becomes 1 for us, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, becomes 2 for us, okay, right. So the first one is from the interval 20 to 40. Now there is nothing from 0, do you see that? So what we could do here is that we could break the graph like this. So note here, what we have done is we have to use this break, right? Since data starts from 20, right? Not 0, right? So that is the break. And now, after a break, we'll say this is 20 for us. You get the idea, right? So this is 20 for us. So 20 to 40. Now we could have uh, divisions of 10 each, right? So let me just uh, draw the verticals. So we have, uh, let's say this is 20 for us. Then these are each 10. 1, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Is that clear? So the first one, we are saying that 20 to 40. So 20 to 40 and the density is 0 0.6 so each is 0 0.2 so 2 4 6 that is what our bar is going to be this interval correct then 16 40 to 60 interval of 20 so from 40 will go to 60 right and density is 0 0.8 so it'll go up to this point Clear? So that becomes 40 for us. This is 60. Then we have 60 to 70. So that is 70, right? And then we have 80. This is 80 for us. And then we have 100. Is that clear to you? 
Now 60 to 70, the density is 1.4. So 1.2.4. 70 to 80, density is 2. So we'll go up to the top. 70 to 80. And then from 80 to 100, it is 0.4. So 0.4 is right there. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we are going to graph the histogram. So if you want, you can shade this. Not really required, but if you want, you can, right? So I think look prominent and absolutely clear. But I hope that gives you a good practice on how to sketch a histogram, especially when the intervals are not uniform and also we have a case where the data doesn't start with zero so it's very practical correct so that is how you get it right so on this side we have marks or you should percentage marks and on this side we have frequency density so each area gives you the frequency which is 12 so note frequency is equal to area of each part right so that is how we find the frequency so in the first case area will be this is 0 0.6 correct and interval is 20 so it is 20 times 0 0.6 so this area here will be 20 times 0 0.6 and that gives you 12 as your frequency is that clear so that is how we are to calculate the frequency if the area is given to you or the histogram is given to you i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best